I'm joined now by radio host Bill Cunningham from News Radio 700 WLW in Cincinnati. Good morning, Bill. Good morning. Your radio show broadcasts across Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio, solid Trump country. President Trump was out in Youngstown at a rally just this week. When you were last on our show in April, you said you could go weeks and weeks and never get a telephone call from anyone criticizing Donald Trump. Is that still the case? Martha, we're now at the end of July. Look at it this way. A few years ago, a friend of mine wrote a book, said, all things, uh, uh, the book said things that matter. What are the things that matter in Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana? Let me tell you what. I paid a dollar ninety-nine for gas last week. A dollar ninety-nine a gallon, which was unbelievable. Unemployment is really full at four percent, and the four percent wouldn't work if you put a gun to their head. Inflation is non-existent. I can get a thirty-year mortgage for under four percent, and you have Foxconn spending ten billion dollars in Wisconsin and Illinois. Unbelievable stuff. There's a new uh, metallurgical factory opening up in Ashland, Kentucky. Pipelines are open. Uh, the stock market is at all-time high. And so when I see on great shows like yours all these parlor games, who's up, who's down in Washington, I paid a dollar ninety-nine for a gallon of gas. Those are the things that matter. Okay, so he does seem to have some pretty solid base report. But I've been around the country and in Ohio and Pennsylvania a lot, and the independents who voted for Donald Trump do seem to be a little squishier of late. And how about that poll? Our latest ABC News Washington Post poll has his approval rating down to 36 percent, the lowest for any president at the six-month mark in 70 years. So what does he do about people outside of his base, the rest of America. What advice Martha, would you give him? When he went to Youngstown, thousands and thousands showed up. If he would come here to Cincinnati, the same thing would happen. I don't think any president after six or seven months could travel the way the Trumpster has traveled with the outpouring of love and affection, despite the fact that a few days ago, the backstabber, O.J. style, who is uh, Senator John McCain, that began his public life as a hero and is ending up giving a thumbs down and a middle finger to the middle class by not repealing Obamacare. Uh, what happened a couple days ago is terrible. And, and Trump, I think, has lost a little bit of his support in the periphery. But the heart and soul of America that beats this great country is Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin, Iowa. This is where real Americans, normal Americans live. These are the lands of J.D. Vance and Hillbilly Elegy. This is where normal people get up every day. And everywhere I look, everywhere they look, things are good. Everything that should be up is up. Things that should be down are down. America is pretty good. Plus, school starts in two weeks. So I see an America bursting at the seams to get loose. And frankly, most of my listeners are proud that the Trumpster is still in the White House and he's still extremely popular among the base who put him there. And if the election were held today, I think there was a poll a few days ago that the Trumpster would beat Hillary again and again and again. So basically, in the land of J.D. Vance and Hillbilly Elegy, Things are pretty good, and what I see on television and read on newspapers from the East Coast is a disconnect to normal Americans like me. Okay, thanks for that view from Trump country, Bill Cunningham.